What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot new things going on within the Coast community. Today I'm bringing you all another update for Kings Dominion regarding Raptera as well as Project 305. I know I haven't talked to you all in about three weeks, so I'm going to be doing three separate videos for you all, back to back to back videos. So get ready, there's going to be a lot coming to the channel this week. The footage in this video is going to be from October 6, 2024. Now there wasn't a lot going on with Raptera in general on that day. I did notice that they added theming like a little bit of draping uh, to some of the footers which looks really cool for that area it kind of looks like a bamboo or kind of like burlap I guess or like a straw type of cover looks really cool I actually really like what they did with it the area itself though looks very nice it's nice just seeing all the shrubbery and the greenery in this area now uh, they got seating areas, trash cans. They really have already got this area kind of done and completed. I don't know if I mentioned this in another video previously, but they did finish kind of like the catwalk as well as like the netting for that launch. I don't think it's in any other spot of this ride because that was the one area where you could possibly have loose articles flying off. Now, as for Project 305, on the other hand, a lot is going on. Even to this day, a lot is going on. And like I said, I'll have two more videos regarding Project 305 as well as the new name and everything because that got leaked as well. When I was filming, I actually ended up seeing Airtime Mike as well as a couple other enthusiasts. So I met up with them, talked with them for a lot five to 10 minutes, and then I finished filming. So you can see that clip here. That, uh, excuse me. Excuse me oh God, <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. How you doing, sir? I'm Airtime Mike in the building. Come on, how you doing, Airtime? Oh, <laughs> We've got some, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Sonia. Nice to meet you. I'm Andrew. Coast of Kirby. Okay, nice. Yeah. Time travel, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the black supports, what y'all think of it? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to look at that orange one. Yeah, I know. It's going to pop. It's going to pop off. Everyone's like a Halloween nice. coaster. I'm like, it does look good, though. Uh, I did notice that they really weren't working on the main track. Uh, they weren't really painting any more of that. I think they're going to be waiting to the off season to paint the rest of the track. But as far as the supports, they've gotten a lot done. I really love that black support color. It just really pops right now. Obviously, when the sun hits it during the summer months, it is going to fade a little bit, but nowhere near as much as what the uh, yellow did. I think, honestly, the coolest thing is actually seeing the different colors of track while you're riding the coaster. It looks really, really cool. One other thing to note, that ride was running insanely fast that day because they actually took off some of the trims. When I tell you that thing was hauling, got some of the best rides I had this year. That was pretty much it for this video. I will have a couple extra clips after the narration of this video. Your last day to ride this is supposed to be November 3rd, 2024. That may not happen because it has been having a couple issues as of late. Just recently, a couple weeks ago, it actually got stuck at the top and they even had to get the fire department to get the people down. So yeah, as of the time of this recording, it was back up and running. So hope you all did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.